Today is our patronal festival, and we remember the Virgin Mary. One thing we ought to remember is that she was very prayerful and obedient to God. I want to say, say a few words this morning about prayer, in particular about the collect set in the Book of Common Prayer for today. But I also want us to remember and keep in mind both the troubled times of our present parliamentary and government and nation and set that alongside what we just heard from the Gospel for today, which is a reminder that God is in control, that God has shown the strength of his arm. He has and will scatter the proud in the thoughts of their hearts, and he has brought down the powerful from their thrones. It is a time to remember to trust in God. We can easily overlook our collects that we say Sunday by Sunday. And I want us this morning to just hear one that we often hear, always on the 12th Sunday after Trinity. I'm going to read it now. Almighty and everlasting God, who art always more ready to hear than we to pray, and art wont to give more than either we desire or deserve, Pour down upon us the abundance of thy mercy, forgiving us those things whereof our conscience is afraid, and giving us those good things which we are not worthy to ask, but through the merits and mediation of Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord. We have the collect every Sunday. We can easily forget they're there. They're so familiar to us. But I wonder if you noticed how kind of poetic and resonant they are. I think we imbibe them as we grow up in the life of the church. Certainly those of us who grew up on the Book of Common Prayer. That collect I just read for you was one written by Leo I. Who was that, you think? <laughs> Leo was a pope in the 400s. He was the first pope to be called great, Leo the Great. He was a great church builder. He was great at building the unity of the church. And he built and wrote a lot of liturgy and prayers. And this is one that's come all the way down to us. The reformers liked it and put it in our Book of Common Prayer. It wasn't an easy time for Leo. As he was pope, there was Attila the Hun beating at the gates of Rome. So if we think we have troubles today, think of Leo. I don't want to spend time talking about Leo, Leo the great preacher, Leo the settler of disputes. No, I want us to reflect on his prayer just a little bit. Like all the collects, it starts with an invocation, a calling upon God. They follow a familiar pattern, the collects. After the invocation, invocation, the calling upon God, there's a further acknowledgement of God, which becomes the focus around uh, the third element, which is our petitions and our plea to God. Our aspiration, our longing, our hope, which is expressed in the words of the collect. And finally, it looks to God for an answer. So let's just think about that collect a bit further this morning. It begins, Almighty and everlasting God, who art always more ready to hear than we to pray, and not won't give either more than we desire or deserve. And the thought there, I think, is that God is open to us. He's accessible to us. In the midst of our troubles, personal or national, God is open to us. We might not pray that often, and our lives don't deserve merit from God, the, the collect reminds us, 
But God is generous and bountiful and he longs to give good things to us. He longs to bless us. And in the collect, God's open and generous heart moves on in the words that follow. God, who art always more ready to hear than we to pray, and art wont to give more than either we desire or deserve. And God listens to what we need. God is open to us. He's reachable. He doesn't consider what we merit. He keeps no record of our wrongs. He's forgiving and he's a generous healer. I once read these words, like a father, God knows what things we have need of before we ask him, and is delighted when humbly and expectantly we seek his face. The Collect continues, pour down upon us the abundance of thy mercy, forgiving us those things whereof our conscience is afraid, and giving us those good things which we are not worthy to ask. There's a truly remarkable sentiment here. It's expressed in this petition. God just doesn't hear what we ask, but he knows and understands our needs, our desires, more than we do ourselves. God gets the big picture, and he comes to us. We don't need to rely on our faltering prayers, our stumbling words, to say what really needs to be said, because he understands, he knows us deeply and completely. He fully sees us and knows us, and he puts to one side all those things that we consider our failings that hold us back and make us feel unworthy of ourselves. He's longing to be merciful and to bless us. He longs to be merciful and to bless us. And on our patronal festival, that's a good thing to be reminded, isn't it? That God wants to bless all of us here at St. Mary's. And the imagery that follows in the collect is that of flowing water being poured over us. Pour out, pour out, it says. Reminds me of John 4, 14, when Jesus promised, whoever drinks of the water I will give him shall never thirst, but the water I will give him will become in him a well of water springing up to eternal life. And St. Paul in Corinthians, for, one, for by one spirit we were all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, whether slaves or free, and we were all made to drink of the one spirit. Water possesses the ability to both cleanse and nourish us. In this collect, we ask God to do that for us, to pour out his spirit upon us. And at the beginning of this new week, let's ask God to cleanse and nourish us for what lies ahead. If I was an MP in Parliament, I think I'd be praying this prayer earnestly at the moment. The challenges that lie ahead. But each one of us in our situations needs God's help this week. We need to ask God, however falteringly, to bless us at this time. And may I conclude by inviting you to hear again the words of this wonderful ancient prayer written 1,600 years ago. Words that Christians have found solace in through the generations. Almighty and everlasting God, who art always more ready to hear than we to pray, not wont to give more than either we desire or deserve, pour down upon us the abundance of thy mercy, forgiving us those things whereof our conscience is afraid, and giving us those good things which we are not worthy to ask, but through the merits and the mediation of Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord. And we all say, Amen. Wonderful collect for our patronal festival.